Hey folks, in keeping up with other types of content, I wanted to kind of also introduce more AI to my channel and in terms of how it relates to MacBooks. What I wanted to showcase is showcasing some of the performance you could get. Um, so I have here the M4 Pro MacBook on LM Studio. I'm gonna be testing at least one model right now for this short video, which is the Google Gemma 3N. And then I have a parsec of my M1 Mac Studio, uh, which also has it loaded. So on my personal channel, I kind of showcased the notebook LM explaining how LMs work uh, for users who want to use an on-device type of model, which could help with you know security concerns or stuff of that nature. Um, we could really just kind of showcase you know how LM Studio works by copying and pasting the same prompt, and then well actually it's showcasing there. And as we run it at the same time, unfortunately I don't have both MacBooks at the same time to showcase, uh, but this is the M1 Max showcasing how much it would um, appear. And then there, it should show the tokens at the very end, which could be a way to kind of compare the models. So this is one applicable use case of AI is in terms of how we relate it to how it runs on device. And then I have another one actually, which I'm gonna try to showcase um, after this one finishes, I built a UI wrapper in cursor as I've been vibe coding kind of for some startup ideas um, in which I utilize Whisper, which is uh, OpenAI's translation model that runs. And then there's some acceleration that you could actually run to have it accelerate faster on on your device, on your MacBook devices. And then I also do have like an R two RTX machines that I kind of showcase. Um, but here we're just kind of looking at what the speeds are that are running this MLX version, which are is a model that's tuned to MacBooks. Um, so they're both kind of going, I don't know how long this prompt's gonna go for. Um, but a lot of times I think that there's a boost in GPU. So we can see here, this one finished. Oh, it actually didn't tell me the tokens or how the speed that, oh, here you go, finally. 33.22 tokens per second on the M1 Max. And then here we're showcasing, um, kind of here you can see the dip, in my opinion, it seems to be going slower, but the GPU performance. So obviously um, M4s have faster G uh, CPUs, um, which I think help with most people's use cases. Uh, but once you start getting into GPU accelerated tasks, I've showcased before Blender, I've showcased before um, yeah. Most people do video editing. A lot of my channel has been kind of testing the MacBook performance with Mac gaming. Um, so here is just another, I think, applicable use case for people to consider, especially, um, you know, I've been considering getting the G4, G14 with a 5070 Ti. This would definitely be accelerated with NVIDIA. And here we see 21 tokens per second. So the M1 Max 14 inch still has, from a GPU perspective on GPU accelerated tasks, uh, better performance. And then what I wanted to showcase now is um, another option of kind of translating. So let me bust out cursor and we could showcase kind of what we're talking about here. <clears throat> okay, so here I built a, as I was mentioning, Whisper AI, Whisper UI. So here I've launched up cursor and I'm running npm run dev which is building my whisper ui so it's basically a wrapper so you don't have to build um things on top so i found that uh depending on kind of how you showcase it we can uh translate some stuff so i actually just finished making a video for my personal channel let's see how quickly this um, works speaker diarization is basically like grouping speakers who talk um, so i put kind of a lot of stuff here um oops uh-oh, not working. What's the errors? Oh, well, it looks like I can't choke it. Do I have to update this? Ah, uh, yes, I've made a bunch of changes. So just another day in showcasing live demos. Um, here, we'll sync the changes, run NPM dev again. Um, I could make the startup faster. Of course, show that showcase. Um, so I'll have to get this fixed up, I guess. But one thing I guess I'll talk about in terms of AI content is, um, you know, when you run cursor, not a lot of things are, um, this obviously offloads to the cloud. So 
you know, cursor, I think, uses Claude, unless you, depending on what, you could choose auto, and I think it defaults to Claude. Um, so the CPU performance or the GPU performance in terms of vibe coding on cursor is really unaffected by this. Um, but what I wanted to hopefully showcase was that, um, okay, there you go. Uh, what I was trying to showcase is that, I think it's gonna work, is that, um, maybe I need to restart the server. <clears throat> what I'm trying to showcase as I'm trying to do a live one take demo on this is kind of the whisper feature functionalities, which is another kind of practical use case of local LMs. If you're concerned about uploading movie, uh, like your video recordings or stuff, transcripts, you could download whisper, um, get a kind of file locally transcribed. And it seems here that my, somehow I've crashed my own bugs. So I'll have to figure that out on the back end. I'm not gonna showcase here, but generally the concept remains. Um, once you kind of, if I have this repo out on GitHub, if you guys wanna kind of check it out yourself. Um, but yeah, with that said, hope you guys kind of enjoy some of these practical ideas of how to use uh, your MacBook to you know utilize AI and kind of see the performance, at least in LM Studio. Um, so again, M4 Pro, 16 inch was 21 tokens per second, where we definitely got a speed boost running the same thing on the M1 Max. So that's another thing to consider. I've always talked about like the differences in performance. Now in terms of gaming, I, I typically find the M1, M4 Pro to be you know, slightly better because a lot of the gaming on crossover is limited by the CPU. But here, um, you know, the LM AI isn't really bottlenecked by the CPU. Then here's just a raw GPU performance and we're getting better performance on the M1 Max. So I'd love to hear you guys' ideas of other AI content I can explore. I plan to get more into also showcasing vibe coding on the cursor stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. See you guys in the next video.